too recently, um, in the past uh, couple months, I uh, changed my style around because before I was pretty much uh, hand inking everything, and that's actually why, um, if you noticed, that's um, the reason when I started hand inking, I uh, used regular standard pencil, and when I'd ink over it and bring it to Photoshop, it was just a mess to actually clean up. So I started using red. <coughs> Excuse me, and um, I'd ink over the red graphite. And I take it into Photoshop and take the red channel or go in the red channel and just leave the actual uh, ink artwork itself on there, so I can just drop the red out. And um, I pretty much just stuck with that. I mean, it's easier on the eyes too, and it's uh, a little bit easier to clean up than it is with a standard pencil. But um, before I never really got into Photoshop until recently. This pa uh, probably the past four or five months I started doing this. I mean, it's kind of rough to learn, for me at least, but then um, I caught on pretty quick. Because uh, since, I mean, I want to be screen printing my own shirts, um, I want to keep the lines as clean as possible for uh, less errors and less mistakes. But, uh, like... All the artwork for this that I'm doing right now is uh, for SwiftySpade.com, and uh, a lot of the other stuff you can see on here is uh, for Rotten Rabbit. I mean, th that's what this actual account is. I just got too lazy and uh, didn't care to switch over the videos for uh, what website I was going to use it for, so that's why these are on here. When I start, wanted to start doing shirts, I started a website. It's called uh, Black Frost, but it's uh, B L A K F R O S T, and um, it is more of the affliction type style and all that. But it is just a fad that's going to end really quick, and I think it actually is now. So I really don't see that much of that style. I mean, it'll continue on, but I mean, not as hyped up as it used to be. So I pretty much uh, got out of that. I mean, I'm not saying I'm not going to continue on in the future. I mean. I may bring it back, but for right now, I'm more focused on this. It's apparently, uh, simpler is better. Going a little history about me. I uh, ended up going to college uh, a few times. Um, the second time I actually went, I mean, I, I went every time for art, but they didn't have an actual uh, design program when I first started. And uh, when I went a second time for uh, my actual uh, degree, which I didn't get because I just didn't finish the internship, it just w what they were teaching us there was, I mean, the simplest stuff which was no help to me because I mean I need to learn how to do this which uh, this is all pretty much self-taught I mean what I learned in school was abso absolutely actually worthless for what I paid for it and um, the teacher was uh, no farther ahead of, ahead of us learning so I mean if we had a question she couldn't even answer it half the time so I mean I said I'm pretty much I said self-taught. I mean, I, I go on uh, forums, tutorial sites, and everything. And eventually, I mean, I just played around with it and found out this way worked for me the best. Then, um, after spending a lot of time drawing, I uh, decided that I actually wanted to do T-shirts myself. Which I, said, I don't know if it's a great idea or not. Cause I mean, I forked out more than enough money already into this and I didn't really use it that much but um I figured I mean I have control over what I'm putting out and how it looks and if there's any issues I mean the person the, say the customer contacts me directly it's not going through like a bunch of other people that came to be the right or the specific answer of what's going on with it but for I mean what I'm trying to do is just limit as many colors as possible. Like I said, just to 
uh, save on screen space because I don't want to use like five or six screens. It's just a waste screen. After I uh, finish coloring this, I'll show you actually how I uh, separate these. Also, I mean, if you're interested or not, but it's always something to, good to know.